Ever notice how politicians and journalists use exactly the same talking points? Congressman Devin Nunes has noticed that. He's been at the heart of the Russia probe from the very beginning. He knows better than anyone what official Washington did to reverse the 2016 election. That story is told in the new book, The Plot Against the President, the true story of how Congressman Devin Nunes uncovered the biggest political scandal in history by Lee Smith, which, by the way, at this hour, apparently is number one on Amazon, which tells you a lot. Congressman Nunes of California joins us tonight. Congressman, thanks so much for coming on. Thank you, thank you. And the so, title's very kind, but there's a lot of people that uh, did a lot of great work. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to read it. I think yeah. it sounds, um, Lee Smith is a credible reporter. Tell me what you make of journalists in Washington demanding that we stop asking questions. Typically, our default is always we want to know more. We're the mm -hmm. askers of questions. That's our job. And yet they're telling us, shh, no more questions. Right. Why are they telling us that? Well, not only that, it's even worse. Now, you know, you, you had on the conspiracy theories. They're chasing daily conspiracy theories on this Ukraine hoax. And so what I've been trying to tell my colleagues, that if, if these are mainstream reporters and they're out there asking you questions about conspiracy theories, about Trump and, you know, what do you think about... Uh, you know, did, did you send anybody to this place? I mean, every day is a new conspiracy theory. And when I walk down the halls, I have to continue to tell these reporters that, look, I'm not going to talk to you in this lifetime or the next, because these aren't real reporters. They're assassins. They're assassins that are taking information from the Democrats on the Intelligence Committee, and they're spreading it out there. And so... Well, they're DNC operatives, obviously. They're operatives, yeah. And, and, and we need a free press. We need a free and fair press. But that's not what we have today. Well, I don't know. I mean, on this show, we're not always, you know, rushing reflexively to defend Trump and everything. I don't work for Trump. I say what I well, think. Not, These I, people work for the Democratic Party. They're just hacks. So let me ask you, what, you know, why don't we know at this late date what exactly happened? Why haven't we seen, to name one among many examples, the, the full FISA applications? Yeah. So... Uh, that's waiting on Horowitz, the FISA application specifically. So Horowitz is gathering all the evidence. It's finished. He notified right. Congress that it's finished. Uh, he said last Friday, I believe, that it's going to have very few redactions. So that would tell me that we're going to get to see a lot of what w went into that FISA. Uh, when, it, when you go to the broader investigation, you know, why did Mueller spend $35 million and not get to the bottom of what actually happened? Uh, look, and, and I think this is, this really needs to happen. There are investigators and lawyers that were on the Mueller team that also have to be looked at. Because if they didn't get to the bottom of some of the stuff that Durham's going to get to the bottom of and Horowitz is going to get to the bottom of, I think we have a lot to be concerned about. I'm just, just t today, another breaking news. You know, there's always uh, breaking news every single day on this subject. But General Flynn, who was maligned, Okay, and it's and Lee talks about it in his book. He was maligned back in 2014. They really maligned him in 2016. Said he had this Russian girlfriend. Yeah. It was all all nonsense. So finally today, a judge canceled the Flynn hearing. So I'm hopeful that the judge will read what Flynn's lawyers now have put in front of the judge, and hopefully the the judge will throw this out. I mean, this is not a way to treat uh, a of war hero. Not. Of course not. Me meanwhile. He's not the only one. I mean, next week, Roger Stone is going on trial in this city, likely to spend the rest of his life in prison. Because why? This whole yeah. thing. Well, that's going to be questionable. We'll see what happens with that. Yeah, we I will. Mean, there's, there's a lot more, I think, to be learned on that case, too. I think there is. Congressman, thanks, as always, for coming on tonight. I appreciate it. My pleasure, as always.